Applications of Differentiation. In this video, we are going to continue with gradient of a curve at a given point. You will find this on page 266 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. The curve, this is the function, has and these two variables, two unknown variables, the ones that we are looking, actually constants that we are looking for, has gradient 4 when x is 1 and gradient 14 when x is 2. Find the value of a and b. So now it's almost like the reverse. They give you the gradient um, and they give you the x coordinate. And then you must find the two constant values a and b. Okay, let's start. There is the function. I differentiate the function. Remember, you're differentiating to x. So just leave the a and the b, they are just constants. Okay. The gradient at x is 1 is 4. Therefore, this will be equal to 4 if I substitute 1. So if I substitute 1 in the place of x, I will get it equal to 4. So form one equation. Then the gradient at x is 2, um, at x is 2 is 14. So substitute 2 and put it equal to 14. Get your second equation. And now you have two equations with two variables. So just solve equation 1 and 2 simultaneously. So I just multiply by negative 2s in order for the a's to cancel out. I get the value of b, substitute the value of b, which is negative 6, into equation 1 or equation 2. It doesn't matter. Uh, I substitute it in equation 1 and th then I will get my value of a. And what is my value of a? My value of a will be 5. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do just number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number 1. Okay, what is my function? My function is y equals a x to the power of 4 plus b x squared plus x. Okay, so if I differentiate, so it will be dy by dx, remember to x, so this is just a constant, multiply, so I get 4 a, subtract 1 from the index, and that's 3, plus 2 b x, plus, remember, there's a 1, a 1, so it's 1, and x to the power of 0 is 1, and 1 times 1 stays 1. Okay, now, we start. I'm going to just use a different color. When x is 1, the gradient is 53. So say when x equals 1, then the gradient the gradient is 3. So basically what I'm doing, I, I'm just going to put 1, I substitute 1 in the place of x and I put it equal to 3. So I'm just going to do it like this. So it's equal to 3 in the place of dy dx. That's the gradient. It's 3. Now I think I'm going to use another color. So it's 3. Now let's keep to the red. 3 equals 4a. And remember it's 1. Plus 2b1 plus 1. And if I simplify this, I will get 3 equals, this will just be 4a plus 2b uh, 2b plus 1. 
I can just bring it over. So if I bring it over, subtract this, so I will get 2 equals 4a plus 2b. Now, it's, it's always good to simplify if you can. So divide the whole equation by 2, and then you will get 1 equals 2a plus b. And let's call this, this will then be equation 1. Okay, um, I'm just going to use another color, okay, so to say, when, uh, where is it now, uh, when x is 2, let's just see, as gradient 3, when x, and gradient 53, okay, so I didn't highlight it here, correct, can I just, I use it correct, so the gradient was 3, uh, let's just use my color, Okay, so the gradient was 3 and x is 1. That was excellent. But now the gradient is 53 when x is 2. So when x is 2, the gradient is 53. Fifty three. So I'm going to say 53, and now I'm going to substitute it, it's 53, it's the gradient, and it's 4a, and what is x? It's 2. I'm just substituting again into this equation, don't forget this one. This is my derivative function, so, or the differentiated function, so 2b, and my gradient is 2 plus 1, so 53, and this is 8 times 4, so that will be 32, plus 4b, plus 1. Okay, and if I bring it over, it's going to be 52, if I subtract it on this side, 52 equals 32a, oh, I can again divide, and in this case, I can divide the whole equation by 4, or by 2 and again by 2. But my final will be 13 equals 8a plus b. And let's call this, this will be my equation 2. Okay, and now I'm just going to solve it simultaneously. So, uh, let's see. Substitute equation 1 into equation 2. We can do that. Uh, so if I'm going to just see what is the best. Oh, I can just use this. Okay, I'm just going to move it up a little bit. Usually I like to go for elimination, but it's not necessary because if I change this, I'm going to do substitution now. If I change this one, it might be the subject of the formula. So then b is equal to going to be 1 minus 2a, just because I have this 1, 1b. One so then I can then say substitute, this is still 1, so substitute equation 1 into equation 2. Okay, and then if I do that, I will just see, and I'm on green, uh, 1 into 2, it's in the place of B, so I'm going to get 13 equals 8A plus, and in the place of B, it will be 1 minus 2A. Okay, so this is going to bring me to a 6A, can you see that? 8A minus 2A, and this is going to subtract, and this is 1 on this side, so it's 12. So I divide 6, I divide 6, and the value of a will be 2. And now I just substitute it into that equation. I must just move up still a little bit. And b, just going directly for b, will be 1 minus 2, and a, which is 2, so it's 1 minus 4, and that will be negative 3. So therefore... A is 2 and B 
is negative 3. Okay, you can try another one, but this is the method. So just make sure that you conquer the method of this type of examples.